we're going to do a field calibration check on your duct blaster system. We're going to be, this test will check the tubing that hooks up to your duct blaster. It'll make sure that the flow meter is reading correctly um, and that everything's calibrated as it should. Um, the way you want to set this up is we got, on this end we got our fan um, set up to depressurize so the air's sucking out and you've got your flow meter on this side. We're going to put the ring three directly onto the flow meter making sure we've got the, the cone part inward towards the flow meter and then we've also got this uh, flow stabilizer that's going in um, on this end. So we're just going to put this, this in. You want to kind of push, push back so it's nice and snug in there. Um, and again, put the flow ring three on right there. You're putting this all together, and I just use that rubber strip that comes with your duct blaster. Um, and now as far as the um, other end of it, we've got our standard um, square piece that, that comes with your duct blaster. Um, got it though, crowed in. The other part of this is we have a flow calibration plate from the Energy Conservatory. And this has a known dimension that um, under 25 pascals has a, they have a specific, specified range of flow that will go through this um, under 25 pascals. So you gotta have this calibration plate for it to work. And in the instructions it says just to tape it on. They don't have any kind of a special um, ring for it or anything. So let me I'm just make sure I'm kind of lining it up. All right, and then um, you want to make sure you got this stretched out kind of tight um, so there's no kinks or bends. Um, and like I said, this test will help determine if there's any holes in that, in this duct or not. Um, okay, as far as the hose placement, we've got our flow. Um, hose running from the, the flow port on the fan to channel A or channel B input and then from the port on the attachment ring we're going to run that to channel B reference port and then from our our flow meter our calibration plate we're going to run um, to channel A input. Alright, so now that we got our gate or our um, duct blaster all set up, the hose is all set up correctly, we want to set up our gauge. Um, we're going to be on pressure flow at 25. So it's reading pressure on channel A, it's reading flow on channel B. Um, we're going to be on duct blaster B and ring three. Um, and also we want to have our time average at 10 seconds. So you want to make sure you change that. And what, what we're looking for is we want to be between 103 CFM to 109 CFM. That's the known flow rate through that dement, that size of hole um, at 25 pascals of pressure. So I'm going to go hit cruise on this and we'll see where we're at.
we were to go above 109, um, you want to check your tubing, or it, even if we're below the 103, you want to check your tubing. You want to check um, to make sure they're not leaking and the connections are good. Um, you'd want to check this duct to make sure it don't have any holes punched in it because um, that could allow more airflow through. So if you're, um, particularly if your number was above 109, it might mean that you have some holes in your in your duct. So if you if you fall outside of those parameters and you check your tubing, um, your duct pipe is good, everything seems to be okay and you still, and you retest and you are still outside of the parameters, you'll want to send it into the Energy Conservatory to, for further diagnosis. All right, so here we got our field calibration uh, check form for the duct blaster. Uh, we've got our company, State of Utah WAP, what gauge I used um, to do the calibration with, when it was last calibrated, um, the, which duct blaster, the serial number on the duct blaster. Um, we've got the date of the field calibration check, who did it, the pressure reading on channel A, and the flow reading on channel B, and if you fall within the 103 to 109 uh, CFM.